Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Um, big hello to all the new subscribers. Um, I'd had a few requests um, about this video here that I'm going to do. Um, and I was curious myself uh, about it. Um, if you look back a few videos, I had a little, I don't know what it was, two, three horse, something like that, twin cylinder, Johnson. Um, it had nice coils and everything on it, but the points were bad and condensers and everything. So I thought, well, I'm going to try those Atom chips. I had a, a couple packs of them left over from the day. Um, well, they no longer make the Atom chips, but I put the Atoms that I had in that little old engine and it, and it seemed to run fine. Well, um, they're no longer available. They were made out of Australia, from my understanding. But there's these Nova, Nova 2, um, there's another one made by Stens. I think it goes for mostly on Kawasaki's. There's a two post and a single post. Um, but the most popular seem to be the Nova chip. So I, I've had several you know, requests, can, can those work? And I found a few things. And, and long answer short, yes, they do work. Um, and we're going to see that in the video. But I had two candidates come in for it. and. Uh, the, they were both little four horse Evan Rudy's. I got a pair of them from a fella. One had low compression on the bottom cylinder, probably just stuck rings. The other one had good numbers on the compression, 100, 110 right in there. And, uh, but it had no spark. Um, or actually, I think it had spark on one cylinder in a minute. So I thought this was a perfect candidate to try these Nova chips. I'd had some requests, a very recent one in fact. So uh, I thought, let's do that. Well, what I found is a couple things. The Nova chips on this particular engine would not fit up under the flywheel. I tried every way I could. They're just, they're thicker, they're fatter. And so they were hitting the flywheel. So I couldn't get, I couldn't make that work. And so what I ended up doing was um, I took the mag plate and I actually drilled a hole um, a 5 16 inch hole and then if you look after you drill a 5 16 inch hole you can take these little rubber grommets that are in pretty much any mag plate so just get you an old extra mag plate and take that rubber grommet out so you want to drill a 5 16 inch hole and you want it on the back. You can see where the wires are, where the spark plug wires come out. You want it right there. That allows it to move freely. After you drill the 5 16 inch hole, you put the rubber grommet from the other mag plate in there. And that will allow you to feed your wires up through and they won't chafe and all that. Then I'll show you the rest. So you need to do that. Then you need to find a place on them, on the block, to mount. Um, the Nova chips, they have to be grounded. One wire grounds to the Nova chip itself off of one post. The other wire goes up through that grommet in the mag plate where I drilled the hole and then I soldered it to the hot wire coming off the coil. Then I taped it, then I pinched everything down with keepers to hold it and you'll see all this in the video. That works good. Now, in the old Atom chips, you got a nice big thing of instructions. All right, um, easy to read. Now, with the Nova chips in the little box, here's what you get. It's the same thing. It's just that big. So, um, anyway, but one thing that's interesting. If you look on the Atom chip, it tells you, there's a, there's a, there's a note, a big note here, um, fold it properly, and it tells you, you see that picture of that spark plug? Well, it's telling you, and if you read that, it tells you the little metal tang that comes with the Atom chip is a feeler gauge. Um, and it tells you that you've got to set the spark plug gap no greater than 0.25. Now, 
Well, we know most people set 30, in between 30 and 40 somewhere. So, um, I did not, on the Nova chip, change the setting on the plugs. I left them at 30. I, put, I gapped them at 30 and left them there, and I seem to have good spark there. You'll see that in the video. So, um, that's the long and short of it. They will work, and uh, seems to run the motor just fine. Finding a place to mount them. Now, where I mounted them was right there by the exhaust port. Not a good place. I just did that for just quickness to, to see if they were going to work, demonstration purposes. Um, I'm going to boss the back top on top of the head. Um, there's a couple places there I can tap that, and I'll put them there. Um, but you got to find a place to mount them. I don't believe on most engines the Nova 2 or Nova chip would fit under the flywheel. You might be able to tinker with it for a long time and get them in there somehow, but I, I couldn't. It was hitting it, kept pulling off one of the wires. So I just mounted them to the outside and did the wire feed up through, and it worked fine. So there's long, there it is. Yep, they will work, and you'll see this little guy running, and, and they, do, they seem to do fine. Now, how long will they hold up in comparison to points and condensers? I don't know. You know... After you put a set on, if anybody has any information on that, if they're using these Nova chips and they've been running them for a couple years or whatever without problems, or if they failed after two weeks, let us know. That would be really good information to share. And also, um, before you start this, I may make it look a little easy in this video. It's it's really not. Um, like I said, you got to find a place to mount them. you got to drill some holes. you got to tape, solder, um, so forth. But the biggest thing that I would caution you against is make sure your coils are perfect, new preferably. Because when I started this, I was getting weak intermittent spark on one coil, and it was testing good on my coil machine. On my coil tester, it was testing good. Um, I switched it, but it was real weak spark. I switched it out with another coil, and I got good, strong spark. So I think you could get really frustrated really quick if you had bad, a bad coil and you were trying to do this. So make sure your engine is firing on points first and if you've got good strong spark on, on a set of points you'll probably have good strong spark on the Nova chips. But you And your spark plug wires. Um, it could have been the spark plug wire because when I changed the coil I changed the wire as well. But it, in, in fact, it probably was the spark plug wire because the coil tested good. So make sure your wires and your coils are good before you start down this road because it can get really frustrating really fast if, uh, if, you, if you don't have good coils because you're eliminating the spark plug, or excuse me, the uh, condenser and the contact points. But, but it, this thing works off your coils, so your coils have to be good. So. Other than that, they work, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Okay, if you look, you can see the dead spider, all the spider webs, the mud, another spider, creepy crawlies in there. Don't like them creepy crawlies. But, um, yeah, there's, there's the spider. Um, he shed a few times and he's probably up under that flywheel. But I got something for him. I'll go get a little juju and squirt in there before I start pulling things apart. But, uh, dusty, rusty, barn fine. Broke it. Broke it. Dusty, crusty, but not too rusty. So um, I'll show you what makes this a perfect candidate for trying these little Nova chips. I'll do. I'll turn it over with my half Milwaukee, and and you can see the spark on. These are the two I've got hooked up. You can see it's kind of intermittent. So let's spin her over. I can do this one hand without killing myself. As you can 
see it's only firing on that one cylinder. Once in a while I would get that second cylinder to pop there, but uh so this would once I get her all blown out and get all the spiders out of there and everything, this will be a perfect candidate to pop that flywheel and try them little Nova chips and see if they'll work. So let me get set up here and we'll get things going. All right, taking off the point, you just pull that little clip off. I already did that. And we're going to just take the points off. because I'm going to mount the little Nova chip under there. So, i take the points off. i got to take, I'm going to hook the wires. Sorry if I'm shaking you too bad. But anyway, you get the idea. Take the points out. There's the condenser. And now, whoops, let me get the point screw. Okay. And let's get them points out of there. Piece of solder. All right, so. Okay, so what I did was took out the points and then I, I soldered the hot wire coming from the coil. I soldered it right there and then I put a rubber grommet. I drilled a 5 16 inch hole and put a rubber grommet from another stator plate. I'll show you that in a little bit. Ran two wires with quick connectors so that I connect can connect them to the Nova chips right there and then I'm gonna tuck this down here and put a washer and a screw from the original points to hold everything out of the way of the flywheel so that's the basics of that be right back all right if you look you can see a spark plug here the tip of it's right here the other one's kind of stuck down in there you can see the tip of it there, so I got them grounded. Here's the Nova chips. If you watch the two plugs, one there, one there, hopefully you can see they're, they both got nice bright spark. And I think I can do it one hand. I'm going to shake you a little bit. Whoa. Okay, Get my Milwaukee over here. All right, just I'll film it around it. There's the Nova chips. You can see where I put them. You can see the two hot wires right there with the quick connect clips right there. And now you can see that I got two nice hot sparkies. So I cleaned the carburetor, blew all the old spiders out, and let's see if we can. Uh, Put her in a tank, see if she'll run on them chips. All right, be right back.
there you go. The Nova chip seems like they'll do uh, as good as the Atom chip. Um, but like I said, there are little differences about the spark plug gap and all. And uh, so, but she starts, she runs. That that starter could use a little work on that thing. It's really. I'm sure the, the spring's weak, it's not wound right, the rope's about to break. But you got to remember this was a barn fine cobweb special. And uh, But I just used this one, I thought it was a perfect candidate to see if, uh, if you remember in one of my other videos, I put atom chips under the flywheel. Um, well, the Nova chips are a little fatter and so forth. so. You have to find a place to mount them, but other than that, it's pretty straightforward. So, thanks for watching.